Hey guys, welcome to Discover Games. This is part five of our Judgment playthrough, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen in this episode. So let's get started. I believe, yeah, it says report to Shintani. There we go. I'm getting better at these names. Still not great. Um, I'm very happy for the support you guys are giving me on these videos, and I hope it continues. I hope I continue to entertain you properly. Um, please leave comments down below about what I can do better and how I can be better. Um, last episode was quite, uh, you know, action-packed, and that was enjoyable. I do like more story-driven uh, episodes, but to each their own. I am not complaining. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get better with each episode and be better at controller and stuff like that and do better in this game. So, I will see you guys at the law office. Ah, so here's more thugs I gotta beat. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Nope, don't you dare. There we go. Okay. What's up, buddy boy? Oh, he got me down. Okay. Here we go, Thuggerino. I'm going to try to put these more, you know, into the episodes. I've been cutting most of them out because, you know, it's it's just thugs. But I think it will be more interesting, you know, more action-packed. Okay, here we are going up into the law office. So now let's talk to Shintani and tell him what we found out last episode. Hey, you find anything? Sure oh, did. Oh, yeah. Marase spilled the beans over at the Kyore hideout, a place called KJ Art. And you made it out of there in one piece? Hell yeah, I did. Incredible. Oh, All yeah. in a day's work, Shintani-sensei. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We are going so, to bust to some Marase, ass, hopefully. More was empty at midnight on the 3rd. That directly contradicts the prosecution's assertion that Hamura was beating Kume to death at the time. Well, that's a hell of a find. But is Murase going to testify? It's not that easy. Uh, never is. Either way, Murase is telling the truth. I found something that backs his story up. Hmm? This is a moor, three hours after Hamura took Kume. Midnight. Take a good look at the edge of the screen. We don't see any of them go inside, so I thought nothing of it. But the stories match up. Marase and his guys went to a moor to take Kume back. And they left empty-handed. So they saw the camera and headed for the back door, of course. Like, they don't want to, you know, they're, they were going to beat the shit out of people. They didn't want to get involved in that. Like, they didn't want evidence. Uh, sounds like we need to talk to Captain Hamura. There are too many unanswered questions. Oh, yeah. Agreed. I'll set up another visit. Give me a call once you do. Okay, so that's good. So we get to um, do whatever we want. Not really. It says wait for Shana, um, Shintani to call, but I'm going to talk to some others. Yagami-san, you spoke to Mafia, yes? Of course. Huh? Yeah, why do you ask? She seemed happy. It had been a while since she last saw you. <laughs> oh, cool. But she looks sad, too. Sad? Wonder why. As do I. See you later. Um... Okay. So, I have to wait for his call. So, does that mean I go back to my detective office? I don't know. But, we will... You will get jump cut. The beauty of editing. When I find out something. While we are waiting, let's try to level up some skills. Because I've got a decent amount of skill points. Um... I've done a, a couple of special ones, which help me do the, um, like, the different 
skill checks and stuff. Boy, words are just not coming to my head currently, but, you know, we all have empty heads sometimes. Slightly increases your photo op time during photo missions, vibrates right before the photo op during photo missions, also triggers a different type of vibration right before a perfect shot. I don't think we've done photo ops yet. When tailing, you gain five additional seconds to relocate your target. Uh, so these are different attack moves, which we've clearly seen I am not great at. I've got to get better. And that's definitely what I'm going to try to do. Why don't we just do an ability one? I can increase combo speed, which I do like combos. I might do that one. Got a new skill, and I've locked one. Awesome. And then... Maybe boost my health so I don't, you know, instantly die. And let's keep it at that. How is my health? My health is fine. I don't know. Oh, okay. These are some cool stuff, which I feel like I got like a million of these from my mailbox, maybe because of the special edition I have or something. I was gifted this game. I didn't even buy this game. So, I am having some fun. I'm not trying to disguise. Shortcut. A. Hey, okay. Let's do a small medical kit. And... Charges the XP gauge a little. It restores health. Huh. Huh. Let's do restore its health. And then for this one, what's this toughness? The perfect drink for healing a little bit. Well, why not? I'm probably not going to use it otherwise. Alright, back to waiting. Holy shit, I can place cats in my apartment? Hell yeah! No, I already have a cat that looks like you. I'm gonna try to get cats that aren't the same. Hey, there's one. Hi. Now, I know putting cats up here isn't, you know, the greatest thing to do. But... Holy crap. I just have cats. Just. <laughs> I have my own collection of cats. Okay. Game 10 out of 10. Oh, oh. Maybe not. Maybe not 10 out of 10. That was loud. Okay. Uh, I'm getting annoyed with the cats, but. I love the cats. Alright. I'm going to um, go to see if some of the side quests are now available. Oh, incoming call. Hey, Hammer is ready for us. Take a cab over to the Kamarocho police station. Will do. Thanks. Okay, well, there goes that idea. So let's go to a cab. Uh, yep, this is probably the closest one head there. Okay, let's get into this cab and let's go to the police station. Oof. Don't have the money. Do not have the money. Here we are. When the fuck am I getting out of here, Tuck? Don't ask me. Shintani Sensei's your lawyer, remember? Hamura-san, I've got something to show you. December 3rd. 11.55 p.m. A Kyori man by the name of Arase comes to a moor to rescue Kume. Not wanting to be seen by the cameras, he goes in through the back. Okay. And? Arase said there wasn't a soul in sight. 
Well, yeah, I'd already hopped over to the sauna. And what did you do with Kume? I already told you I threw him out the back. And before that? Huh? Around 10 o'clock, you kicked everyone else out so you could be alone with Kume. Okay. I have testimony to back that up. Why'd you do it, though? What can I say? I guess Kume reminded me of an old friend. What does that mean? I must have been feeling nostalgic. Who knows, though? I was pretty plastic. He did say that. He's, su he's suddenly getting evasive. Even pulled uh, I was too drunk to remember card. Yeah. That's so. Did you need to kick everyone out just for that? Uh, I told you I was drunk. Who knows what I was thinking? Well, you seem to remember other parts clearly, though. Like when you left the club. What are you getting at? Just asking. For a so-called innocent man with an alibi, your story has an awful lot of holes. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't hide something from us, would you? Of course not. Something like the true killer's identity? I said I'm not hiding shit. Okay. Now get the hell out there and prove my alibi. Yeah, but we need... I was at need... the sauna all night long. Prove that and I'm in the clear. I need to have a backup plan in case your alibi doesn't pan out. But I can't help you if you're going to hide things from your lawyer. Oof. Stare down. suspected of abducting a rival clan member, gouging his eyes out and dumping him in an alleyway. They'll lock you up and toss the key if we can't win this. Has that thought even crossed your mind? Or are all Yakuza just that fearless in the face of a life sentence? Fear has nothing to do with it. But like hell, I'm gonna beg you to save me. Not asking. Then who would you beg? <laughs> None of your business. I mean, there is somebody. It's only a matter of time, Hamura. I'll figure out what you're hiding. Hey, Yagami. Okay. That was an interesting, like, confrontation. I was not expecting a confrontation at that point. So, let's, if it lets me pause for a little bit. No, we're going right into a Yo, scene. sounds like you've been busy. Had a little chat with Hamra. Wasn't real productive. No. Figures. He's keeping something from us. There might be more to this case than we thought. Of course. So what? You telling me we hit a dead end? No. More or less. I need more to work with. Specifically... Like what Hamura and Kume did after leaving Amor. Eyewitness testimony. We don't have time to scour the city for leads, though. No. Hey, how much money you got? How much you need? You owe me 30k or so. I've got this friend, a local detective on the force. He'll tell you anything for the right price. Oh. Anything? Interesting. Anything. Guy's an informant. You want the dirt only cops have access to. He's the guy you hit up. Hmm. So you're saying he's a dirty cop? Of course. That's an ex Yakuza for you. Underground police info sounds useful. It it does. It does. Um, as I was saying before, uh, this. Well, first of all, in this episode, I want to try to get done with part one, uh, story episode one or whatever they call it. Um, so I'm just gonna keep recording until I do, which could take a while or could take nothing. But this dirty cop really does seem like a great backup plan i guess that's why we keep our friend around you know name's ayabe he's a ayabe. regular over at tender really hey. yeah surprise you've never run into him there it's where everyone goes to meet him try huh. asking your pal masuda speaking of i wanted to go and ask the bartender he said he had um a friend that needed something so i would love to get some side quests done too i want to see stuff that this game has to offer that is not just the main story. I love completionist. I love doing side quests. So I guess we're gonna head over to Bartender and I'll see you guys there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I hate the way these people back up like that. That's so dumb. 
Okay, here we are at the tender. Or the bar. The tender. Yeah, I'm bad at these. Hey, buddy boy. I tried talking to you earlier. Hey, you have a sec? Of course. What do you need? I'm looking for a detective. Ayabe. You know him? Sure do. He hasn't been by in a few days, though. Why? Ah, uh, damn. Guess I came at the wrong time. I'll have to come back later. Sure hope this guy is worth the trouble. It's Me too. okay. I'll let him know you were looking for him. Awesome. Why don't you have a drink or two in the meantime? First one's on me. What's all this? I won't. <laughs> Just buttering you up. Remember when I mentioned Yay, someone who had a job awesome. for you? Yeah, what of it? Well, turns out they won't have one for you after all. Sorry. Ugh. Apparently the client was trying to get back at some Yakuza who sucker punched him. And he wanted me to do what? Not sure. <laughs> Doesn't matter now anyway. Why, did he go all vigilante on him? Not exactly. It sounds like the Yakuza ended up behind bars for killing a man and gouging his eyes out. Huh? Wait a second. Captain Hamura. Surprised? No. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. Hmm. Anything else you can tell me? Sorry, but that's all I've got. You'll have to ask the guy directly. Okay. Yeah, if the Yakuza who punched the host in the sauna was Hamura, that could be the eyewitness account that he was in the sauna. Or at least getting to the sauna. That might be established yep. Yes, Who is please it? do. Man by the name of Seiya. He's a host over at Club Stardust on Tenkaichi Street. Okay. That's where I'd look. Thank you so much, friend. Can I have that free drink, though? Please? Okay. Do you have anything to say to me? You're just, like, always here permanently? Which I'm fine with. You know? To each his own. Alright, let's head to Stardust. See you there. Okay, we are rounding the corner to Stardust. So let's see. Let us see. Oh, Club Stardust. Here we go. Hey, you have a sec? Depends. What do you need? I'm looking for someone who works here. Think I could talk to Seiya for a sec? Seiya-san, huh? No can do. Not today. Not today, Is he huh? off today? Not quite. He's out on a date with a customer. Oh. Damn. He could be practically anywhere then. Third day in a row, too. He's got it wrapped around his finger. Yeah, that's great. Any idea when he'll be back? <laughs> no that's clue. Great. I doubt he went far, but that's all I've got. All right, cool. Thanks, anyway. Thanks, anyway. Yep. First, the owner of a moor. Now, this guy. Why can't people just stay at their clubs? <laughs> Wait, maybe I can find him the same way? Okay, yeah. Let me go to my friend -o. Let me go to my friend dude. Or talk to him. I can call him. That's true. He's Yo, be... There we go. Oh, hey, Yagamishi. What's up? I, uh... I need something. Think you can do another message search for me? Sure. Just hit me with the keywords you need. Okay. Mm. Let's go with Stardust and Seiya. Oh, and let's limit the search history to just today. You got it. Give me just a second here. Okay. It's working. It's working. <laughs> I'll just push this to your screen. Okay. Uh, Might have worked too well. Any other Oof. keywords you want to narrow this down by? Hmm. I don't know if date will do it. So we have food, play, and date. Those are the options here. Um, he never said he was like out uh, to dinner. Play or date? Let's try date, I guess. Oh, that did the trick. Oh, okay. Great. Should be easy to check these out myself. Thanks, Sukumo. I'm sure you'll find your pretty boy in no time. So the real Tokyo Sugar. Oh, I was trying to read them. Okay. So I guess I get to go investigate. All right. Let's go there, then. While we're going to the first one, look at all these people on the street. This town's bustling and aiding me, I guess. Ah. I get to kick. Can I get this bike? Yes, thank you. There we go. There's one guy. Let's get the 
this guy on the floor. Ito, bye bye. Go. Oh, did he throw something at me? I think he did. Okay. Wow. Wasn't ready for that. I remember I gotta go because I don't want to be um, arrested. I think it said I could get. All right, we're getting close. So let's go to that woman. Oh, she's right here. Look at that. Handle. I hope they can get here soon. Wait a sec. You mean Saya, that host from Stardust? Hmm. Who are you? Are you from the club? Uh, no. Sorry. I'm just looking for Saya. I'd ask where he is, but it looks like you know as much as I do. Ah. Hey, are you implying my Saya Kun stood me up? No. I'm sure he's just taking his time getting ready. He'll be here any minute. Uh-huh. Uh, how long have you been waiting anyway? I... I... <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Excuse me. That was odd. <laughs> oh, that was odd and awkward. I got... Oh, could he have multiple dates? And he's just at one of the others? She's not my cup of tea either, so... Let's go to the next one. Okay, I am now near the location of... Oh, there she is. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Wait, you know Seiya-kun? Is he alright? We were gonna go on a date tonight, but he never showed. I'm kinda worried. Huh? I'd heard he was on a date around here too, but I guess that means it wasn't with you. Uh, better luck next time? Wait, what? Yikes. Seiya-kun's out with another girl? Sounds like it, but don't... Take it too hard. I'm sure you'll bounce back. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. I thought he'd gotten into an accident or something. I wonder if he's having fun on his date. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. That's called mental illness. But I was literally just going to say, you know, a handsome detective guy is single. But now I'm like, get the hell away from me. All right, third one's the charm. I wonder if I went to that third, that first, that third one first, but I have found him immediately, or did I go, or is he just in the last spot that I check? That'd be interesting. There's probably videos that's found that out. All right, see you uh, at the last date spot. Okay, here I am, and I see chairs flying. I don't know if you guys were able to catch that. But people are running. Oh, someone just vanished into the ether. Okay. Um, oh, and he's sitting... <laughs> he's sitting with a table knocked over. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, oh can, can I talk to you? Thank Excuse you. Excuse me, ma'am. What? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Huh? What do you want with Seiya? Uh, I need to ask him something. I heard he was on a date around here. Uh, did you say date? Well, who's the bitch he's cheating on me with? Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. It is not fine? What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. Okay. That was, that was lame AF. Oh, Yagamishi. Did you manage to track down that host of yours? Nope. Struck out on all three leads. Yikes. Huh. How about giving it another try? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure out some other way. No, no. Don't be such a sourpuss, yeah. Yagamishi. I bet there have been more posts since earlier. Sure. I doubt that's going to change much. But sure, why not? Let's see what you got. What else are we going to do? <laughs> Let's start with the same keywords from before. Yes. See that? A new hit. The landscape of social media changes every second. Apparently, yes, they it does. posted it only a minute ago. <laughs> That's not a hot lead. I don't know what is. You're not wrong. All right, I'll check it out. So thanks for everything, Tsukumo. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> I'll let him finish. So he has set up three dates. 
and went to none of them. I guess never a um, day day club owner. So let's go to this last spot. See you guys there. Oh, ah, okay. Bye bye. Okay. Let's kick you in the face. Let's kick you in the face. Bye bye. Oh, I got some money. I like money. Uh, I was too bad. Ooh, I like the blood splatter. He's not done yet. Can I pick up this? I like how the last guy is always like juiced up, but not juiced up enough. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. For the round of applause. Okay, here we are. I think it's in this place, yeah. So let's see if we can have a little chat. A little meeting with this man. This all elusive man who had so many dates. Hey, Seiya, right? From Stardust? Huh? Sorry to butt in. You have a sec? You'll have to excuse me, my chan I won't be long. Hey, is everything okay? Don't worry. It'll all be fine. Huh. Mind stepping outside, Yagami-san? Wait. You know who I am? Of course. I do. Why would you be shocked about that? You're a detective and a former lawyer, bro. The owner over at Tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. Always get A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty. Sounds like you're pretty well known in Kamurocho. So that's yeah. what people say about me? One more thing. This is just a rumor, but uh, I hear you'll do anything for your clients. You even got a murderer off the hook, right? Gotta smoke that one off. Did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you? That's right. When? The night of December 3rd. The day of the murder. You're sure? Yes. Okay. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. That's so. Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? <laughs> it's fine. You know it. Yes. Yes. No, I might be able to prove out. What time now. did you run into Hamra? I think around midnight, out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest place. Is that the Kyushu sauna? Number no. One Star? Isn't that near Sauna oh. Goten? Okay. Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why did he hit you in the first place? <laughs> Wish I knew. The guy reeked of booze, though. I was just walking down the street when I noticed him coming towards me. He was like mumbling to himself or something. Kind of scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. And how many times did he hit you? Just the once. He left a fucking nasty bruise, though. Knocked one of my fillings clean out, too. A filling, huh? Did you go to the dentist? Huh? Yeah, the next day. Then you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on, what did Hamura do after he hit you? He stumbled away into a sauna. That Goten place you mentioned. So just to recap, he hit you around 12, and then headed into sauna Goten. Yes. That old guy at Sauna Goten said that no one left the place until morning. Yeah. And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Yeah. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. Can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies too. <laughs> sure, I'll ask him. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? 
video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. That's fair. Well, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya. Okay. It was more useful than I thought. Though he's a playboy, but... Yeah, maybe there's a camera by that, uh, wherever that place is. Haven't seen it yet. All right. That, that was that was pretty crucial key evidence, right? Because now we can try to piece together uh, Hamura's defense, though he is hiding something. Maybe that's why he was hiding? I don't know, but that... That would be weird. He admitted to beat the shit out of... Um, what was that? The, what, whoever the guy is, he beat the shit out of. I can't remember his name at the moment. Um... But then he, he punched this guy once. Maybe he was just so drunk he didn't even remember. He just kind of stumbled into the sauna. All right, so let's go to the place. I will see you there. Oh, I got an incoming call. Hello? Yo, it's me. Ah. You find Ayabe yet? Negative. But I did track down someone who had a runner with Hamura. Yeah? Is it good news? His alibi might be more airtight than we thought. You're kidding me. Just around midnight on the day of the crime, this guy Seiya got hit by Hamura then saw him go to the sauna. It was okay. apparently right by Kyushu number one star. If they have a security camera, it would have caught everything. I'm heading to check it out now. Hold on. Isn't that near KJR? Those Kyore guys won't be happy to see you. If I was Ooh. worried about getting seen, I'd never leave the office. <laughs> That's true. Huh. Fair enough. Ooh, I didn't Later. think about that. Am I gonna have a fight on my hands? Which, you know, I'm always down for. This is where... Seiyo was hit. So let's try to find some security cameras and maybe a kitty. Is that a camera? No. Okay. I hear a cat. Is he down here? I guess this is a good time to mention that um, I have zero sound direction whatsoever. So let's continue to search. Oh. Okay, so we got the sign. Let's try to find this kitty. Here he is. Oh. There's the cat. And now let's try to find the kitty. Ah, here it is. Okay. There's all three things I think that's around here. I don't know for sure, but... Yep, let's hope he's on it. I'm glad we found a camera, though. That could really help us. I might be facing the wrong way, though. Hey, you! Rut row. I know you, boy. Marase. What a coincidence. Clear your schedule, because I'm going to take my time with you. Boys! Wait. Get this fucker back to the office! I really don't have time for this. Yo, talk! Stay the fuck out of this! Where are you? Oh! Damn! Come on! That was pretty sweet, man. Hey, you wanna try helping out? Good sure point. Thing. My turn! You two fuckers are going down now! If I beat the shit out of you, do you testify? Oh, come on. Not this shit again. Okay. Let's uh, start doing items. That's what we learned from before. So many. Okay, let me grab this bike. So I can murder their entire asshole. Let's go. Bam. Good. Oh, what? What? How did that one hit? Come on. This is a terrible mechanic. Oh, 
Okay, I get hit once and I'm on the ground again. There you go. There you go, Kaito. Can I grab it still? Okay, okay, okay. I guess because that sword does true damage or something to me. There you go. Let's keep this. Yep, there we go. Quick time? There we go. I didn't even need a quick time, I guess. Oh, I do now. More quick time? Yes. Ow. Did I hit the wrong button? Damn. I guess that's what I get for, um... Let's get this XP boost. There we go. See, I can do the wall jumps now. <laughs> oh, yes. Get fucked, bro. I hate you. Teabag his face. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta take this. There you go. Oh, 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 I'm gonna be falling again, I guess. Yep. Okay. He has a sword. Okay. I need to, I need to go. Okay. Can I grab anything? Yes, I can. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. I blocked. I blocked. Okay, well. This is kind of no fair, but this is a boss battle, I guess. Okay, just keep keep fighting me. Keep fight, keep hitting me. Let me do some of this. X, XP gauge, yep, so I can murder his butthole. No! Um, okay. Uh, I guess I just have to take all those. Kaito's kind of in the way, so that's fine. That's fine, I guess. No, oh, okay, I missed him. That's fine. Can I, can I kick his butthole? Yeah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Good, 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 good. Didn't make too much of a fool of myself, but still not. I hurt hot. He hot hole. Please tell me you found something. You did, right? <laughs> I think I did. Check out that camera. Now uh, we're filmed. We're in the clear if the thing puts Hamra here at midnight. <sighs> and if it doesn't? Let's... Let's try and stay up. Well, camera. Yeah. You got good news for us or what? How am I just gonna talk to the camera and it's gonna give it to me? I don't think that's how that works. No? This video shows everything you need to see. My client, Hamura-san, drunkenly attacked this passerby on the night of the murder. Then, after the altercation, that same passerby watched Hamura-san walk into Sana Goten. Yeah. That, that's, that's the long and the short. Nobody came out of the building after that, until the train started in the morning. Meaning the defendant was accounted for during the hours in question. The defense asserts that this video establishes a clear alibi, which can only be seen as proof of Hamura-san's innocence. To that end, I have a question for the prosecution. Did you have any prior knowledge of this video before the trial began? I assure you that we reviewed all the relevant footage from the sauna. And yet the defendant was nowhere to be found, counsel. At least so I was told. Meaning, you never actually went to examine the site personally then. Would you say that's correct? Yes. My associates took care of that. Nonetheless, the defense's video is far too blurry to clearly identify either participant. 
There's no way to tell whether the man in the footage was the defendant or just a random pedestrian. I disagree <laughs> quite hard. Thank you very much. In that case, the defense would like to call a witness to the stand. Ah, oh, the guy. The Sardis guy. As I expected. Eerie music. Ooh. What? Say, Asan, do you claim you're the person in this video? that someone assaulted you that night. Is that accurate? Yes. What's the matter with him? It is. Now tell us, this person who assaulted you, are they here in the courtroom? <laughs> hmm? Witness? Is there a problem? I, um... Hmm? I must have... been mistaken. I am the one getting hit in the video. But as to who the other guy was... I can't say. What? Excuse me, Your Honor. A uh, recess, if you don't mind. Huh? I'm big confused right now. Is he paid off? What happened in there? I... I, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. But why? You were all ready to go this morning. I... got a phone call earlier. Go on. It said it was from my sister, but there was a strange man on the line. He said his name was Morase. Told me you know him, Yagami-san. Morase? And he told you not to testify? Yes. He said if I did, if I did, I, I'd never see my sister again. Oh, got it. Okay. What are you doing, Yagami? Calling the police? Kaito-san, it's me. Those KJ art guys took Seiya's sister. I'm heading over there now. Could use a hand. Ah. All right. The hell are you doing? We're in the middle of a trial here. A trial doesn't mean shit if you can't protect your witness. Uh. <sighs> Buy me as much time as you can. I'll get Seiya's sister back. Okay. I'm down. I'm the one who dragged you into this. I'll be the one to drag you out. Promise. Okay. There you go. I like that. Five so time, he says. He knows this is a court, right? That's also a good point. It's also a good point. We are kind of badasses, but I'm glad we um Got our friend to join us. And that was not good commentary. I don't know what's wrong with me. Brain. Just gone. I need to hurry. That is damn correct we do. Yes, more evidence. Uh, changing styles? Do I need to change styles? I just go as myself, right? And let's get over there. Because fuck these guys. Right in their bum holes. I will see you there. Hopefully kicking a lot of ass. Broad daylight. I did not hit you. Here we go. Yo, it's Kaito. It's Kaito. I'm here. Yeah. Where are you? I'm right around the corner. Place looks kind of deserted. Blinds down and everything. Are we sure this is where they got her? They're from Kansai, remember? They can't have that many hideouts. Plus... That's true. Plus what? I bet there's a reason all the blinds are down. If anything, that makes it more suspicious. I guess Fair. you've got a point. Anyways, I'll be up on the roof again. See you soon. Hi guys, still up. can't get Let's eyes go. on what's in there. Got any bright ideas? Bust right in. Well, we can't just barge in. Why not? Who knows how many of them are in there? That's true. No way I'm getting away with a disguise now either. Nope. 
Then I guess we gotta sneak in. Oh, that's sneaks. the only way. Yikes. <laughs> I had a feeling. I've got a plan. Ooh. Yeah, lay it on. I me. like plans. First, I'll make a big scene out front. Then when they're distracted, you sneak in and get the girl. That's your big plan? Pretty good, mm. huh? Uh, sure. How are you gonna do it? Yeah. You'll see soon enough. Just remember, both our asses are on the line here. That's true. I won't forget. So, the girl's in there, yeah? Let's go bring her home. I can't believe they right. kidnapped. I'll go wow. look for a way in. Let you know when I find one. So they're more... Eh, they want Hamura to be thrown in prison for life or executed more than they care about who actually killed their friend. <laughs> Name's Kaito, ex Matsugane. Bring him out, or I'll burn this shit down. Oh yeah, go on. I, like I dare that. you. Just stay right there, punk. I like that. Uh, ooh. Okay, Kaito. Yuta, this is your chance. Okay. Okay. Don't die, okay? Don't die. Please don't die. I like you. Please don't die. Please don't do it. You really stuck around? You should have bailed when you had the chance. You're pretty fucked now. <laughs> Dumbass! Who the fuck are you? I said I wanted Morase. You fucking scrubs ain't worth my time. Get Morase! I like it. I like it a lot. It makes me laugh. This feels like this is going to be the big show now at the end of this chapter. Alright. So. Now oh, I got a lockpick. That's right. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this party started. Come on, come on now. Nice. There you go, bam. And oh, oh bam. There. Okay. And there we That'll go. All right. So now I gotta rescue a sister. Let's go. I'm not even gonna be that. I'm about to go in, really? I feel like I need to go up, right? It's locked. This goes for a wire, which I'm out of at the moment. Can I just go up? No, it was... I need a wire, huh? Ah! Ground. Thin wire. Okay. Let's go. Lock, yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I gotta work another minigame. I am bad at this. Okay, let's go. Uh, thumb bypass, just confirm. Okay. Nice. Okay, I just gotta follow it. Perfect. There you go. Okay. In okay, that's not. Oh. oh okay, it's just being, it's being used. Okay. Now. Everyone's up front, uh... Who the hell are you? Oh, I... We're not getting out of here alive! Oh my gosh. Uh... Yeah, yeah, it was kind of your fault. Oh, okay. How come y'all... Wow, he gets dazed so easily. I don't I don't like that at all. We can't see him, so there you go. Uh, no, oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, he has so much health for a scrub, man. 
Okay. Bye, Hori. Now what? You. Where's the girl you took? I don't know nothing, honest. I'm new here. Uh -huh. They don't tell me shit. Yeah. Huh? Well, then you're useless to me. No way to go but up. I agree. But that was really funny. Um. Oh, I just go out here? Oh, I guess I take a look. Let's go. I gotta run. Oh, I can't go up anymore. Oh, okay. I was like, another wire? Why am I bad? Oh, I guess I went up too fast. Almost there. Shit, stupid what? thing. I am not... Why is this thing Guys. so fidgety? Almost there. Gotta have immense gold. There we go. Alright, fucks up the whole thing. Another You're one with a damn this. sword. Oh, there's so many. Okay. I gotta get my XP boost. XP boost, there we go. Kick him, kick him, there we go. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Block! Turn around. Thank you. I, I get so frustrated with controller controls because I feel like I'm not in control. Ow. Okay, I gotta heal. Okay, wait. Items. Uh, let's do a med kit. Let's do... A bunch of these, and let's get going. Um, get off of me! Get off of I'm I'm mashing. How much how much faster do I have to mash? Come on now. Bringing this guy down the hallway. Good. So he's done. Okay. I'm blocking. I'm blocking. How much more do I have to block? Thank you. That's pretty cool strafing. Okay. okay. I'm still blocking. I'm still blocking. I'm still blocking. I'm still blocking. I'm gonna use up all my items now. Do an energy ball extract. Now let's do that one. Whatever that's gonna be. Make me OP, I hope. Because I need it. Too much, and it still doesn't let me block. Manamanam. I definitely need to remember how to strike, but that's not for now. Um, interesting. I guess I, I can't block those. I just need a straight one. Which I don't know. Super not. Nice. There we go. The dead dead. Now, can you tell me where you're hiding the girl? She might be on this floor. That is correct. Let me heal up first. Because I suck at this. Bam. Oh, she's in here. Okay, now I need four. Nice. Almost. 
almost there. Okay, be nice, be nice. careful. So this is a four, and this is how close I am. Got it. Bam. There we go. Did I get both of them? Good. What a waste. Yeah, what a waste, because she's not in here, I don't think. Okay. I just got a health regen, which is great. Or stamina gen, I guess. Oh. Oh. Uh, shit. Here we go. You see her again? Tell me what I want to know, or else. Uh, do I care about where Marasa is? Where's the girl? Where's the girl? She's up in the reception room. Got yeah. it. Appreciate the honesty. Now kick him. Where's Marase? Hell if I know. Probably with the girl. Okay, yeah, I missed probably. that. That's unfortunate. What's the code for the reception room? <laughs> like I tell you. I don't have time for your games. Understand? Now I'm gonna ask you again. What's the code to the reception room? I like how badass my guy is. One, three, seven, zero. Okay. Well, that wasn't so hard. Thanks. One three seven zero. No, kick him in the face again. Can I? Can I do it? Ah, no. Damn. Nope. That's the wrong one. Right here, right? Can I go in? Perfect. There you go. I have the key already because of from before. One three seven zero. One three seven zero. I gotta run. Let's go. Let's open, please. Oh my gosh, so many lockpicks. Well, they did lock this all Almost off, obviously. There. They fucking kidnapped the girl. Nice. Almost there. Got there it. Go. I'm getting much better at this. Look at this. Novice lockpick. 1370. Let's go. The reception room. 1, 3. Watch you lie to me. Oh. Okay. Here we go. This is the big, the big cheese, the big kahunas. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. You're Seiya's sister, right? Don't worry, you're safe now. Yagami, when the hell did you get here? Let the girl go, right now. Oh yeah. What do you mean, let her go? The girl can leave whenever she wants. We don't have her tied up or nothing. Uh huh. I get it. It's all fine if you aren't keeping her captive, right? You just have to make her stay here until the trial's over. You really thought this one through. I like that. But that's, that's not, not gonna, gonna work. work. Yep. Huh? Confinement is a crime whether or not your captive is tied up, you idiots. Shut your trap! You know, false imprisonment will get you between three months and seven years. Maybe even longer if you hurt the victim. Guess you'll have to take a little dip in an acid bath then. No body, uh -huh. no crime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Intimidation too? Tack on another year. I'm ready. You piece of... No? Come on. Let's make sure this asshole never talks again. Okay. Hold on. Gotta, gotta get some items in me. Hold on. Yep. Just you, all you pause right there. Let's get a stamina X. And I should be... Okay, let's also increase my skills. I like doing more damage. For the uh, wall jump finisher. Uh, hold B to enter the stands and press A to perform two quick steps. I need to learn. I need to know how to do that. Good. I like music appreciation. That seems pretty cool. That's right up my alley. I love music. Speaking of which, you guys should go check out my Discover Music channel. It's all about reviewing albums and my honest opinions about them. Even though some of them can be quite controversial. 
because people have very strong opinions about their music. Hey, here we go. Uh, that girl is not going to be very safe for you. Alright. Uh, can, I, can I grab this? No, I want to grab it before being kicked in the face. Just drops the soap. No. Is everyone else dead? I hope so. Okay. There yep. yep, their bodies have disappeared. Okay, he punched me in the head. Can I grab this soap now? He evaded pretty good. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Bam. Oh, how did that miss? Fuck you. Okay, he, he, oh, okay. Okay, you know, that was a pretty decent move. Okay, let me evade that. Oh, I, dis I disagree with that. Get I'm on now. Okay, I guess I was, I was a centimeter too far. You know, sometimes, it, oh, okay. And I'm not even looking at him, I guess, now. This shit gets me so frustrated! This shit's just, just, just bad. It's, it's, it just feels bad, man. Alright, let me get another... Oh, he's back to hit me because I have no stamina, I guess. Is that the thing? way I'm OP, besides not being able to do camp. Okay, I can't grab him. He, he just, he doesn't want to be, he's ungrabbable. There we go. The fighting, I guess I'm not a fighting person on, on controller. I don't know. But I did it. Thank Come on. the Lord. Not so fast, Yagami. No, I'm gone. Arasis san. Hasn't this gone on long enough? You're only gonna make things worse for yourself. Yeah. Hamura has an alibi. Someone else clearly killed Kume. There's no reason for you to keep Seiya from testifying. I agree. Oh, you did it. But if Hamura didn't murder Kume, who did? I'm not sure, but Hamura might have an idea. He must have been working with the real murderer. What? That's right. It does, but I feel like this is not the time to say it. The night of the crime, Kume went into Amor and just disappeared, right? He didn't contact you. Nobody saw him. He didn't even show up on any security footage. The way I see it, Kume never left him more. In other words, Hamra must have handed him over to the real murderer. While Hamra was at the sauna making an alibi for himself, someone else was murdering Kume and gouging his eyes out. It almost makes sense. If Hamra ends up behind bars, I'll never be able to prove that theory. So what? You want to let Hamura walk? Better that than threaten a girl to stop someone from testifying. Besides, I thought you were above shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just get out of here. You got guts for a detective. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. You know? Yeah, the rest is up to Shintani. You know, that was that that was a really cool scene. I really like that. I Amaru love story. Amaru-san is the one punching me in this video. The same man standing here today. I remember now. There's no doubt in my mind. So, 
You retract your earlier statement? Yes. My apologies. Your Honor, clearly this witness has no credibility. How does the defense respond? I admit, the witness was shaken up before. But I believe that's a perfectly understandable response. This is his first time in court, after all. There you go. I have no doubts regarding his credibility. There you go. This Stardust establishment. It's a host club, yes? How long have you been employed there? About two years. For that short a time frame, you seem to have an awful lot of trouble with your customers. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean. Several of them have approached you in hopes of marriage, have they not? They come spending huge sums of cash, so you act like you're ready to seal the deal. You say What's whatever it takes anything? to make them happy in the moment. But your oh. story changes once things start to get real. Oh. Five women have filed reports with the Consumer Affairs Bureau. And those are just the ones who have stepped forward. Can we really trust the words of such a manipulative man? With these character traits in mind, I sincerely doubt the credibility of the witness's testimony. But look, and if it's the, the witness same is indeed guy. lying, the defendant's alibi is I invalid. Get it. That is all. How does the defense respond? I'd like to continue on the topic of credibility. Mind if I ask you a few questions, prosecutor? Go ahead. First, allow me to fast forward the security footage to just a few days after the crime. Oddly enough, we'll be looking at the exact day the prosecution filed their suit. Hmm. Isn't that you, prosecutor? Well, uh, yes. And in this footage, you're reenacting the altercation that took place between the defendant and our witness, yes? I love that. That's really good. What? No. Well, that's strange. You stated earlier that you hadn't seen any footage from the camera near the sauna. But then, how would you be able to reenact things exactly as they went down? You also claimed you did not inspect the area yourself. But it seems that wasn't the truth. Why are you hiding the truth from us, prosecutor? You're wrong! As you can see, the original footage isn't exactly clear. I would understand if you would deny that the defendant was the man who punched our witness. But instead, you claimed you hadn't seen the footage at all. If I, I have no guess, commentary for this. When you this first is saw great. the footage, you realized Hamra might have been Absolutely the other man. Great. At the very least, you couldn't rule out the possibility. So you lied, I would say. <laughs> that, that's not true. Can we be sure that what you say is credible? You've already lied outright in a court of law. And unfortunately for you, there's only one person who thinks the defendant is guilty. And that's you, prosecutor. The night Kume got murdered. Now, Hamura is a Hamura was shit. holed up in Sauna Go 10 till morning. But. The footage from the security camera, Hamura's alibi, Seiya's testimony, it all lined up. He did. With a story that airtight, there's no chance he could have killed Kume. But he was still involved. That's what he did. We find the defendant, Kyohei Hamura. Innocent. Okay. I will now clarify the reasoning behind this decision. Defendant, please be seated. The judge was right. Hamura definitely didn't kill Kume. But he had to have been involved. Maybe. Meanwhile, the real killer is still out there. Hiding in the shadows of Kamurocho. Of course. Murdering Yakuza. Gouging their eyes out. Retreating into his den. So? 
I've given him a name. The Mole. Moles are pretty ugly. Have you ever seen the a lawyer's mole? job like is done animal? once he proves the defendant innocent. But me? I'm not a lawyer. Not anymore. Meaning my search for the truth only ends when I say it does. Okay. My office might be small, but that doesn't mean I don't have a reputation to uphold. That guy's a piece of shit. In man. other words, I'll do whatever it takes a prosecutor. to bring Hamura and the mole down. Okay. I'm down for that. Badass epoch. I'm fine. I, I like that an innocent man was innocent, but how yeah, innocent? Son. Nice seeing you. Gorgeous day. How's the detective business been treating you lately? Yeah, I knew you'd show up here, Hattori. Listen, I'm not in the mood for your shit today. Yeah, but it's my journalistic duty to hear what you have to say. It's not personal. Just trying to do my job, okay? Okay. That's fair, I guess. I bet he blasted me for letting a murderer loose. I've seen what your so-called job produces. A fraudulent lawyer lets a murderer walk. A helpless girl suffers the consequences. There it goes. <laughs> there it is. You and I both know you're the only reason the girl died. You just had to go and set that killer free, didn't you? And the good people who raised her still suffer for it. You can't be coming back now. What would her poor family have to say to that, huh, Yagami-san? No need to worry about that. If you say so. See you around, then. But you didn't. Okay. What type of people wanting answers and then walking away before they get them? The prosecutor way did the same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. And here we go. I believe this is gonna be the intro to chapter two. Thank you guys so much for coming along in this journey. I'm glad we were able to finish chapter one today. That was my goal, and we achieved it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode and what you think about this case. Do you think Hamra is innocent? Do you think he was the one who brought uh, Kume to his actual killer, or Hamra is completely innocent like he says he is? Or is he really hiding something? Please let me know in the comments down below. Please do not forget to like and subscribe so you can be notified of the next part that gets uploaded. And as always, see you in the next video.